Okay, back from PNR because things are going to change now. Uh, where the road's been clear all morning, uh, they've now decided to <coughs> put in a single traffic light lane closure um, because, well, not because of us, because we're nowhere. I mean, we're only in the road because they've closed it. But all our lock ons, as you can see, on the other side of the cycle lane. All the onlookers are on the pavement. The only people here are us. Here comes a big police movement. They're going to attempt to, I think, <coughs> clear the area of um, us superfluous people because there are 13 local people on a lock-ons, two in wheelchairs, three councillors, 11 of whom have never done this before. So now we need to see what they're going to be saying. I'm her. I'm her. That's so I beg the question, is she the right person to be doing it? Just yeah, same with me. Yeah, in relation we are. to her welfare. Yeah. Um, I have been listening to radio. There is going to be more than one welfare officer without a shadow of that. Good. That's important. Karen, you stay in the stuff before. Oh, OK. Good move. <laughs> same one welfare. Yeah. It's not enough. Yeah. People in wheelchairs. We're definitely having more than one welfare. We've cleared yeah. that. Yeah. Four. Yeah, I guess that then if they're having four. Are we having four? Because I'm his. That's what he said. Who? That copy? This one here. Julie, have you told Gina we're hers? Go and tell Gina to make sure she knows. <laughs> so the police are moving in, and what they're going to do, I would imagine, is probably bring those vehicles forward. I don't know why the police are in the middle. So again, for those who just joined the live stream and aren't aware of what's going on, at about 2.45 this morning, 13 local people locked on, and they are in five sets of two, three ones, locked into barrels and pipes. Everyone's very tired, uh, but very okay. Everyone's safe and been well cared for. Everyone is a welfare officer, and every well, welfare officer, welfare friend. Um, they've been fed, they're safe, they're comfortable. <laughs> and up until now, there's been no real serious policing or anything. Uh, but now, just this minute, we were told, uh, make your decisions on which side of the road you're on because the police are going to come and sort things out. So when they sort, they usually throw everybody who's not on a lock-on, except for a few welfare people. Well, are you staying with Gina or is one of Maureen's happy to look after Gina. I'm going to stay with these two. We're just working it out because when they come in a minute, they're going to ask who's looking after you. So you volunteer that you're for these three. We're looking to get at least four welfare. I'll check and see what everyone else is doing and how many we've got. Jules, just... Who? Lucky's our welfare dog. <laughs> So just keeping a close eye on the policing. Uh, Sherry, what's your name on Facebook? Maria. Maria Varley. Maria Varley's live streaming. Frank Roberts is live streaming. Kieran Dunn is live streaming for the tower, which will be a good view. So just be sure there's plenty of live streamers about. So if any, oh, what do you love on live stream? Rachel Seager. Rachel Seager. S W E G A R. S E A G E R. So just go back and you'll find all the very. It's got to be an uncomfortable place to store that. <laughs> Hi, lovely. How you doing? All good in the tower? Right, so they've sealed the lane off with the temporary traffic lights. No reason. We didn't do anything wrong. We're, well, you know, 
we protest, we're at the side of a road. But there were no protesters in the road. And yet they closed it off to traffic. There's been no issues with traffic. And it's been flowing smooth all morning. And it's only when the police got here that the flow of traffic became an issue. That's because they decided it was one. Just going to get a quick view from this side of the road, but by the same token, I don't want to get stuck over here. Oh, I know you said that. No, no, I didn't know. I was already inside. Stop that. No, why? What reason? What reason? I don't have a health and safety problem. Why? 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 What reason? What reason? What reason? If you go out, you're not. I didn't leave. I didn't leave. I walked to film you. I walk to film you. I have not left. I am caring for someone. I am a welfare officer. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I signed up for welfare. Gina Dowling. Don't ask her. The councillor. I am her official carer. We signed up. We sorted this the the action out, and I signed up as a welfare officer for Gina. So I literally came out to film. That was all. Where's that recorded that you're her welfare officer? Oh fuck! This is a fr. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll go get the minutes from the last 10 meetings, shall I? Because we're a professional body. I am with Gina and I'm looking after her. And I will not be moved. I came out to film. Once this is in place here, I think we're going to have four nominated. I think It's not the point. No, no. I didn't choose to be excluded. I am with her and I will go back. I can't arrest me. I'm walking fucking back. Siri, you have to stay there, I'm afraid. She's not allowed back in. Stand there for me. Stay there, please. There are, it's only because you've been filming, you know that. I think what needs to happen is one point of contact. And when all the vehicles are put in place, we'll then establish who the welfare officers will be and who the observers will However, be. as an entirely innocent, everyday local resident who walked simply to film from a different angle, I have not left that space, not picked up my cigarettes, my glasses, my charger, nothing. I've done nothing because I so just went out to film. Out so now I'm being moved off, off a road where I've done nothing wrong. One voice can the nominate the welfare officer. And if you're a welfare officer, you'll be allowed back in. Yeah. You know that yourself. Yeah. There'll be no drums yeah. I do not require all of this telling what to do. Do you know what I mean? Well, we need to get some sort of order in the way we're doing things. Well, Dean, walking in here is Disney. Honestly, I'm here. My things are there. The person I'm caring for is there. It's an absurd situation. Who were you the welfare officer for? Gina Dowling. Well, what we'll do, we'll, esta we'll establish that. We'll establish yeah. that. And once that's established and everything's in place, I'm, 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 we'll do it. So just wait, stand still, do as you're told, behave. Do not move from that moment. I really don't like having to do that. Yeah, fucking naughty child. It's an assertion of authority for no apparent reason. It is. I am entirely harmless. I have been here for six months causing no harm. In your regular life, if I said to you, now stand there, I realise you didn't choose to stand there, stand there and don't move. No, you cannot pass over there and get the things that you have. No, just by the time How would you came feel? Out a bit, exactly. It no, it was a seized opportunity by the officers. Oh, good, she's out. Let's it's use not, that. It's not sending you out, Tina, at all. It's just anyone now, while they put it in place, nobody's allowed to go past. So they haven't singled you out individually. She actually did. I watched her do it. Yeah. One, once they sorted out and she confirms I'm her welfare officer. It's not the point. It is not the point. No, it, none of that is the point. I'm a regular citizen in a democracy and being told where to go, what to do and how to behave when you are a, a regular everyday human who has never committed crime 
I refuse to be told how to lead my life by anyone when I'm not doing anything wrong. It's an affront. You know, when I watch what you're doing, look at what you're doing. You're letting that happen. You're helping that to happen. And you're and we get singled out as the bad guys. We're the criminals. I'm in the middle of recording that. It's hard for it to be private. Listen, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. Right, we're trying to arrange welfare officers. We're shouting and screaming. I don't care if it's helping or not. It's not my job. Listen, but we have we have to do a job, and we want to do it as, as easy as we can without causing people any upset, any pain, whatever. So you are a welfare officer, yeah? Is that correct? I cause no upset or pain, I know, and my the presence... Rules was at the time, just listen to me, just hear me out, but anyone that left wasn't allowed back You there. saw how far I got. Right. You literally just got to just that listen. spot. Stop shouting at me. If the rule is for everybody, unfortunately, that's the rule for everyone. If we start letting some people in and out, then other people will think, well, why can't I go in there? Do I'm sorry, I don't recognise your authority. Right. I don't. I have no respect for it anymore. To, that's fine. And I'm it's okay. To be reasonable with I understand you. what you you're doing. With me. I know I don't. I right. don't. Well, I, I understand really what you're that. doing. And I am a welfare officer, and someone will let someone right. know in a moment. And you, you are not going to bargain or haggle with me. I'm a regular, I'm, everyday human. I'll walk away. Good, do that. There is no bargaining or haggling. I'm not in a position to do that. Why should I have to haggle with you? Wow, if I'm a good girl, I'll get to do my thing. Wow. establish who's welfare to who and then everyone will go in there okay, okay. but I suppose this is okay for now all right <coughs> what gets me is they seized a moment I literally took one step the other side of the police to get a, a different angle and at that point there wasn't a line formed no. but at that point I watched her face go oh, we'll just stop her yeah. but I'm always working with Gina you know so it's just so unfair yeah. I just you know what it is it's you know you're a grown up no one tells me what to do I'm a grown up if I'm being paid by you fine tell me what to do yeah. but I'm not being paid I'm just here as a volunteer in this movement. And after six months of being on this road and proving I do nothing illegal, I cause no harm. Yes. To then be treated like that as if you're the criminal or you're a risk. Oh, yeah. You know, then what, what, what mentality Stop. brings that? And what right to be treated as if I'm a risk, you know? Yeah. It was one step in a, in a direction. Disgusting. It's just power. I didn't notice she needed three or four around here. Yes. I mean... <laughs> You must have a, a, a main punch there. <laughs> it's that they exert that. They start fighting back. They brandish their power. It's like the, the one police officer, the female, said to me, well, I was going to be reasonable with you, but if you're not going to be reasonable, I'm going to haggle with you. I have no cause to haggle. Like, what, if I'm a good little girl, yeah. you'll let me do it? Oh. Taking this as a seat. As a seat. Yep. A cushion, I think. I'll get a bit hard after a short while. I'm going to keep the live stream on because we don't know what will happen next. Uh, actually, no. I'll, st I'll stop this one and restart it in a minute, and start a fresh one in a sec. But uh, when I find out what position I can actually be in to be of any use. Now that I've been kept out of the court. And, uh, wish I hadn't taken a step in a wrong direction. Sorry, I lost my temper again. So I'll be back in a minute.